how lightings, angles and cameras change the way you look and how celebrities get the perfect red carpet photos. I want to preface that this video is not used to bash any particular celebrity only to show the realities of inflexible beauty standards. This video would be pretty dry without any visuals to explain or illustrate what I'm talking about. In fact, a lot of this information has already been provided by celebrity influencers or celebrity makeup artists themselves, so it's no secret. If you consider a celebrity or influencer to look less than stellar, think about why we need female celebrities in particular to look flawless 24-7. Remember, it is society that holds an unhealthy obsession and expectation for women looking flawless and forever. But we are also a part of that society. Researchers Stephen and Griffiths reported that people who viewed body positive content had a greater body satisfaction, so there is a likely psychological benefit in enhancing people's body image. But most crucially, there is no reason we should be afraid of seeing realistic photos of celebrities. There is no shame in having wrinkles, rosacea, cellulite, acne, dark spots, or generally just seeing skin texture or pores. But it is no wonder that celebrities are sometimes complicit in doing these behaviours, like adding filters or photoshopping, because they are in a position of damned if you do or damned if you don't. On one hand, they are persecuted if they look good, but criticised if they look bad. When society relegates women to sexist constructions, shoving the involuntary digestion of the message that women are defined and valued by their beauty only, it comes as no surprise that many choose to capitalise off of it. And with plastic surgery becoming more common and beauty filters looking more realistic, the competition to monetize beauty is becoming more and more intense. 20 years ago, you may have occasionally seen supermodels when browsing magazines, Monica Bellucci or Angelina Jolie when you switched on the TV or sporadically walked past that one incredibly conventionally attractive girl. Today, with the rise in social media, where there exists a concentration of conventionally attractive people trying to make a name for themselves and exclusively putting their best online, the conception of average has been unrealistically skewed. Beyond filters and Photoshop, lighting angles and cameras all affect the way you look, sometimes used to aid celebrities in getting the perfect red carpet photo. Ken's Lauren revealed on TikTok how red carpets often have lots of professional lighting to achieve great photos. This video of Kim popped up on my For You page and I went to the comment section and someone was like, yeah, that's why I always go on Getty Images because they don't retouch their photos and you can actually see their skin texture. This is my skin texture sometimes, yet this was my red carpet photo. It's not retouched. Watch this. <laughs> Professional hair and makeup and lighting is so key here. Take this for example. I'm stepping into the golden hour light and even though you can still see skin texture, it looks pretty good because the lighting's good. Now I'm not in the golden hour light and you can see skin texture, you can see peach fuzz, you can see that I overlined my lips. <laughs> Patchiness, dryness, blemishes, it's normal. Aside from lighting, if you're taking selfies from particularly a front-facing phone camera, you can find yourself looking different to what you may see in a bathroom mirror because of lens distortion. An article by Vox based on conducted research suggested that selfie face distortion is driving people to get nose jobs by using a mathematical model which considered how the distance between a person's face and camera lens could change their facial features in a photo. The researchers found that when the lens is very close to the face, about 12 inches, our noses look 30% larger compared to the rest of the face and the tip of the nose 7% wider as phones use a wide angle lens. The basics of this issue lies with focal lenses or lengths and perspective distortion, especially when selfies are taken at close range SLR Lounge explained that the closer something within our field of view gets to our faces, the larger it appears in relation to the objects behind it, and the inverse of that is also true. 
In simple terms, if you're standing in front of a large building, it looks larger because you're very close to it, whilst the buildings in the background look smaller despite being the same size. This analogy can be applied to selfies. The nose appears much larger because it is closer to the camera lens relative to the rest of your face. Moreover, because your phone's front camera uses a wide angle lens, its sensor is grabbing information outside of what you observe on your camera's screen, cramming it into a 4x3 ratio, making the center of the photo appear curved and wider, in turn making your face look wider. So the main takeaway, according to research published in the journal JAMA Facial Plastic Surgery, is that selfies may not reflect an individual's true appearance. Additionally, an article by The Cut highlighted how red carpet makeup is meant to look so-called bad and dramatic in real life. How makeup presents in film and photo is different to how it would look in real life. Nick Burrows, a celebrity makeup artist, told The Cut that real life makeup and photo shoot makeup are two totally different things, which is all about the light source you spend the most time under. In his own words, he explained that makeup works with the light. Contouring for every day just isn't realistic, unless you are Kim K and can hire people to follow you around, like a camera crew with a light, and light conditions change throughout the day. You can wear no makeup at all, but if you have a good light, you can look really good. The key is the light. Under fluorescent light, it is going to look bad, Daylight coming through the windows is the most flattering lighting. You just look like a baby under that. That's why the right makeup works with the right lighting. Red carpet makeup takes a long time, with celebrities sitting through hours of makeup prep beforehand. Often celebrity clients are upping their water intake and going through rounds of facials to make the makeup sit better on the skin.